The cost of labor, house finishes, and insulation are the most expensive items when building a container house. Most shipping containers are made from cordon steel or aluminum. To make a container house conducive for habitation, it is essential to have the container walls, the roof, and floor insulated for indoor thermal comfort. Insulation also helps to reduce external noise and prevent condensation, which can become a health hazard if not controlled. The most common type of insulation materials used in shipping container homes is spray foam and insulation blankets. However, there are many other alternatives to this too. In this video, we explore alternative low-cost insulation for shipping container homes. In this presentation, we will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of each with examples of best-case studies of each from around the world. Stay tuned to learn more and enjoy! One, styrofoam. Styrofoam is a common trade name used to refer to expanded polycystrine, EPS foam. Because of its relatively low cost, styrofoam is commonly used as a molded packaging material for cushioning fragile household items and also used to make disposable fast food utensils. Styrofoam is a lightweight material with voids filled with trapped air, which gives it a low thermal conductivity, making it an ideal material for insulating buildings and shipping container homes. Styrofoam insulation provides R values that range from 3.6 to 4.2 per inch. Styrofoam insulation is available in two formats. First, it is commonly available as EPS panels. Secondly, it can be used as a composite material by mixing styrofoam pellets with lightweight concrete or other materials. The advantages of using styrofoam insulation include they are relatively cheaper compared to spray foam. Styrofoam does not need additional support for anchorage, hence no need of framing. Styrofoam is lightweight and easy to install, interlocking like Lego blocks. EPS panels are thin and can be profiled to fit the container corrugated wall, occupying very little internal space. No special skills or equipment is required to install compared to spray foam insulation. Styrofoam insulation is suitable for application in both hot and cold climates. This amazing home by an Israeli musician built in the middle of the desert was insulated using EPS panels. 2. Mud Bricks Mud bricks are one of the oldest methods for conventional building. However, shipping containers can also be insulated by lining the container walls with brick either on the inside or outside, depending on the size of the brick or brick finish. Apart from thermal insulation, increasing time lag of nighttime ventilation in the tropics is a cheaper alternative of enhancing indoor thermal comfort by increasing the thermal mass of the container walls. This is achieved by lining the container walls internally or externally with fired clay bricks. Fired clay bricks make a good insulation material with comfortable R values depending on the method of application. The brick lining is installed using mortar from cement or clay. The total R value is of the insulation is a summation of the R values of the brick, mortar, and air gap between the corrugated container walls. For improved thermal performance, use cavity bricks because they have better thermal properties than solid bricks. The biggest advantage of brick is the ability to function as a thermal barrier and also as a wall finish. A brick wall finish is beautiful, durable, and maintenance-free. If you find the physical look of brick not desirable, the wall can be rendered with plaster and painted in a color of your choice. Brick is made from soil and therefore is cheaper compared to other forms of insulation. It is also natural and sustainable compared to other chemical-based insulation. Because of the relatively low R values of brick insulation, it is an excellent thermal barrier for tropical climates, but a poor insulation material for cold climates. The container house at the Ocean Residences in Malaysia is good case study on how brick can be used as a thermal barrier and a wall finish. 3. Hempcrete Hempcrete is a biocomposite material made from hemp shives mixed with limes or pizzolona to bind the mixture together. The result is a lightweight insulating material that combines insulation and thermal mass. Hempcrete can be molded in various shapes and sizes, just like brick lining. Depending on the size of the blocks, hempcrete can be used either outside or inside a container house and is suitable for all climates. Hempcrete, just like brick wall, is a breathable material that will not trap moisture, hence dissipating the moisture before it liquefies to cause condensation. Hempcrete can be used in two formats. It can be used as hollow slash solid interlocking blocks, dry stacked together to form a wall, or installed in sight through a layering and compacting process. Hempcrete is a natural and highly insulating material, lightweight and resistant to pests and mold. 
Hempcrete has good acoustic and sound barrier properties ideal for party walls. Hempcrete is an excellent sequester of carbon. The material continues to absorb CO2 throughout its lifetime, which is forever locked into the material when used to make building blocks. 4. Straw Bale Straw bale construction is a building method that uses bales of straw, commonly obtained from wheat, rice, and oats, as structural elements or building insulation. Plastered straw bale walls have excellent insulation properties with R values of 30 to 50. Plastered straw bales are good fire resistors with a Class A fire rating. Because of the sheer size of straw bales, this kind of insulation is ideal for exterior insulation. In contrast to a timber frame structure, the shipping containers provide the skeleton or support structure similar to a timber frame structure used for holding straw bales in traditional building. The container walls are strong and rigid and therefore would keep walls straight and not buckle under the weight of straw. The bales should be placed on raised on foundation with a damp roof membrane and a generous roof overhang to keep away moisture and rainwater. It is advisable to use breathable plaster to allow for good air circulation behind the straw bales. Insulating shipping containers on the outside is a big plus because it frees up most of the interior space, which is somewhat limited owing to the small and width of shipping containers. This is a cost-effective way of insulating and camouflaging a shipping container home to look like any other conventional house without breaking the bank. The construction process is labor-intensive and may not be ideal for everyone. 5. Rammed Earth Rammed Earth is one of the oldest civilizations of building construction dating back to the 18th century. Normally, clay is mixed with other materials available on site, such as straw, sand, lime, or animal dung. Rammed earth walls are built by ramming pounds of clay either by hand or machine into a mold, usually made of wood or metal. The overall outcome will take the shape and form of the mold used. The ramming is repeated until the entire wall is built. Rammed earth walls can be built layer by layer horizontally up to as high as 2.4 meters without any support. When finished, the drywall has a beautiful layered finish which does not require any other finish on top. The wall can be polished with clear and permeable waterproof coating. To insulate a shipping container home using rammed earth, it is more appropriate as an external thermal barrier because of the thickness of the walls. However, if you are building an uncontained house, rammed earth would be a perfect integral for infill walling. It is appropriate to use thicker walls for better thermal performance. To camouflage the industrial look of a shipping container home, insulate the exterior of your house using rammed earth walls to hide the corrugated container walls. Rammed earth is ideal for hot and dry climates. The biggest advantage of using rammed earth is the very low cost involved. However, the process is labor-intensive and can be too taxing to be applicable to everyone. The best case study of using rammed earth is uncontained space is on Lombok House in Jakarta, Indonesia. The house is built with 300 mm thick rammed earth walls made from a mixture of sand, cement, straw, and cow dung. We hope our collection is comprehensive enough to enable you to make your decision on alternative insulation for shipping container homes. Kindly tell us your preference by posting in the comment section below. Kindly give us your opinions by posting in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos on amazing shipping container projects from around the world. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Information source and photo credits belongs to respective owners.